A Mediatek Helio P90, MT6779, presentation is due soon. This mobile processor can compete with top-end chips from Qualcomm and Samsung. And the creators of his bet primarily on the hardware acceleration of artificial intelligence algorithms. It is expected that with the release of Helio P90, Mediatek will return to the number of manufacturers of chipsets for flagship smartphones. Recall that last year its leadership abandoned plans to develop a line of top-end processors from the Helio X line and focused on the middle price segment. However, due to the fact that Mediatek no longer needed to squander efforts to maintain an unprofitable line, which was literally bought by a couple of manufacturers of mobile phones, it managed to significantly increase the productivity and capabilities of the more massive Helio P. According to the tests, the recently announced Helio P80 lags behind only the most powerful mobile processor, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8150, when performing tasks related to mobile learning. One of the representatives of the company during an interview with 91 Mobiles made a statement, which includes the date of the presentation of Mediatek Helio P90. A new chip for smartphones will be presented already on December 13 during a special event planned in the Middle Kingdom. Some experts are not yet very optimistic about the performance of the Helio P90. It is likely that its built-in neural network accelerator (NPU) is really not much inferior, or even surpasses the Snapdragon 8150. However, in other tasks, the processor will be more like a medium. Four high-performance ARM Cortex-A75 or A76 cores and four quiet Cortex-A55 are, of course, cool. However, the cryo-custom kernels that Qualcomm develops are usually superior to those from ARM. What, in particular, shows testing presented this fall Kirin 980. Also Mediatek traditionally saves on the graphics accelerator. Even the top chips have two to four cores. For comparison, Samsung also uses ready-made GPUs from ARM, however, it puts on October 12th cores. If Taiwanese want to rip off Qualcomm, they need to put on the Helio P90 the appropriate set of graphics cores. As for the algorithms of artificial intelligence, this achievement is really quite good, but in reality it turns out to be useful far from everywhere and not always. Even where possible, Modern applications use this feature far from fully.